Hey guys, a friend of mine came by the studio the other day and he had a drone in the trunk of his car. And I looked at it and I said, hey man, let's, let's fire that bad boy up and take it out for a ride. And he said he couldn't because it was a gift for his nephew, but he couldn't give it to his nephew because he had bad grades in school. And I said, oh man, nobody remembers that more than I do. I had a straight F average. I was the worst in school. By the time I graduated the ninth grade, I was 18 years old and the sentence was up. There was no educating me as a kid. No way. So anyway, let's, let's rock it forward in, into nowadays day times. I'm, I'm in aviation and have been for many, many years. I had the pleasure of working on the TBM 700, which is one of my favorite aircraft in the world. Then they came out with the 850, which is basically like a P-51 Mustang that you can pack six adults into it and just go take it for a ride. This is a bad mamba jamba. Needless to say, in the shop where I work, I get to see the insides and the outsides of how these work, how they take them apart and what makes them function and, you know, all the, every intricacy of this aircraft. Well, needless to say, one day somebody broke a little model, one of the little display models, and they threw it in the trash. So I dug it out of the trash and I took all the knowledge that I had learned working on these aircraft every day. And, and what I do is basically cosmetic. It has nothing to do with anything mechanical in any way, shape or form. So I took this little model home and I tinkered around with it for quite some time and I changed it around and modified it to what I thought would be really cool and I called it a 900. And then I went in and I played around with some Microsoft Paint as always on the computer and I modified it up some more. And I thought, boy, it would really be neat to have composite cowlings that opened kind of in a clamshell, but they still used all the same mounting brackets and everything that the factory TBM already had. So it would be extremely economical. It would streamline everything, take away a lot of parasitic drag. You know, it would be lighter and whatever. And I thought it would be really, really cool. Well, this is what the TBM looks like now. And by the way, it's called the 900. Needless to say, I've worked on several... Uh, experimental aircraft over the years and done many modifications to them which is completely legal even though I don't have any kind of degree for for that it's supervised and it doesn't fall under those type of guidelines everything that I did needless to say another man approached me and asked me could I make a modification to an L39 form and we've become friends over the years and this is what I designed for his L39 so what my point is here is did I have a learning disability or did they have a teaching disability? So if you're thinking about giving your kid a haircut that's got kind of a hole in the middle of it as some kind of a punishment because of your kid's bad grades, turning them into a punching bag for the school bully really isn't going to make a difference. So, and drugs are definitely out of the, out of the question. So if your kid's got bad grades, find out why.